it is tremendously important that in 2022, the mandate of the UN Independent Expert on Soji gets renewed. This has been a position that we have fought for so hard to get established, and this is, would now be the second renewal. We have a voice through this mandate in the international community. Es el único espacio que tenemos y no podemos retroceder, no podemos dar un paso atrás, solamente podemos seguir avanzando. Ver cómo el mandato ha ido evolucionando es, es una cosa maravillosa, fantástica. Estar ahí, poder eh, eh, estar debajo de ese cielo arcoíris del, del Room 20, del, de ese Salón 20, en el Consejo de Derechos Humanos y, y saber que las personas LGBTI somos reconocidas y nombradas a través del mandato es una cosa que solamente eso vale absolutamente la pena. So it is important to have the independent expert at UN that level to show the world that the LGBT people uh, deserve equal rights as everyone else. Para mí esto es una, un mecanismo poderoso, ¿no? Un mecanismo que nos representa, un mecanismo al cual podemos acudir. Eh, es un algo que no debe perderse, ¿no? Entonces un, es una conquista que no tiene que venir atrás. Es una conquista que siempre debe, debe, ir, debe ir renovándose. There's been moments when we've felt as a global movement that things are just on an eternally upward spiral and we are not feeling that right now. A renewal right now shows that governments are committed. It shows that we are a movement that is uh, together, united, uh, forging alliances for the future. It will give us hope. If these mandates are renewed, it also holds countries and groups accountable when it comes to SOGI issues. The SOGI mandate should be renewed because it's one of the vehicles that we have to ensure that gender-based language remains a part of international law. It's very important for that the mandate of the expert independence be renewed, notably because there is a lot of data across the world on the reality of LGBTQI people in the world, in different countries. The expert independence independent permits to pallier certain of these information, to put de l'avant des réalités parfois euh, qu'on voit pas. It's urgent and timely to renew the mandate because violence and discrimination is not resolved. And if the mandate was not going to re be renewed, the UN would send a message and the member states of the UN would send a message that the problem is resolved and it clearly isn't. The mandate itself has built a wealth of evidence around discrimination and violence on grounds of sexual orientation and gender identity and it is obvious and clear that this mandate needs to continue because the problem is still there. I think it is very important that uh, the mandates get renewed every three years because the situations on the ground can be different three years ago and three years later. So I think the continuity and sustainability of the advocacy work, global advocacy work on the UN level is uh, of extreme importance. The campaign to renew the mandate is a moment when collectively, regardless of what we're advocating for, uh, our movement has an opportunity to come together, uh, despite its differences, because this is one thing that we can all agree upon, that we must have a voice within the UN. I think it should be renewed this time again and every time it comes up going forward. I think that, that we're only just beginning to to shed the kind of light that's needed on, on issues facing our communities around the world. So I really, I, I can't imagine uh, how it could possibly be justified not to, not to continue this mandate. Es vital que eso se renueve. The work is still not done. 